On December 28, 2018, Muhammad Qasim saw in a dream that Allah is explaining something to the Muslims, but they do not pay attention. Allah becomes angry and says to me, Qasim, write my message and deliver it to these people. They are not paying attention. I will inflict my wrath on them. Allah is speaking in an angry tone and I do not have any other option but to write his message. Allah starts speaking and says, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah Meaning there is no God but Allah and Muhammad peace be upon him is his last and final messenger. After this Allah narrates something which I do not remember. Allah is enraged and he speaks in an angry voice. But this anger is not for me, and I continue writing his message. Then, some people approach me. They come to know that Allah has told me to write his message, and I am writing it continuously and conveying it to the masses. Allah's anger and irritation remains constant and continues. Thus, I become afraid to write anymore. Due to the fear of Allah, I said to myself, Why is Allah asking me to write this message? What can I do now as I don't have any other options? Then I tell those people who are with me to write the remaining message. I tell them that whatever Allah is telling me, I will narrate that message to you and you will have to continue to write it. And one of them said, Yes, that's fine. We will write it. Allah is watching all this and when those people are ready, then Allah starts speaking. I listen to Allah's message and narrate it to those people and they continue writing it. This work is very good. Allah's anger and rage is not for those people. I said to myself that these people are quite courageous as they have started to write all this. When Allah has completed the message, then one of them says that the message Allah has narrated is very dangerous and scary. India will also occupy some parts of Pakistan. responded by saying, Yes, but when Allah will help us, we will regain that area. Then it also has to happen that an earthquake will come and the circumstances will get worse after that. Then there is an earthquake of low intensity and we do not realize that it's the same earthquake which we were waiting for. And the news comes out that those people who were controlling the two big provinces had their houses collapsed after this earthquake and they have died. I said to myself that this was a very light earthquake but it has collapsed their houses. The circumstances get worse after this and no one knows what is happening and how to control the chaos. Chaos spreads everywhere and it happens exactly as Allah had narrated and there is darkness everywhere. Then I wear some clothes and they even shine in the darkness and people can see me from a far away distance. <laughs>